Yo, what's up, guys? I'm at Quick Jack here with Eric with his slow ass FC07. Look at those chicken strips. You can eat those with blue cheese all over them. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Ranch is disgusting, just like you. All right, let's go bring Gio back his helmet. Where's that state trooper over here? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow him a kiss. All right. All right, so there's no state trooper here. Eric was obviously lying, which is standard procedure for, for them Howell kids. Stop sign? No thanks. Too easy. Well guys, what's going on? Long time, no post. Here I am on a bike that's not a Grom, that's not an FZ06, or an FZ6, that's not a uh, WR250R. That's not a, any other bike. Are you confused? I was confused for that lady, and therefore she was confused. But I'm here on my brand spanking new to me, motorcycle number seven, I think I've owned, or eight, something like that. This is my brand new 2004 Honda VTX 1300C. It's a real nice. Eric's bike is mad slow compared to my bike. That's about it. He knows I'm talking smack and he just sits there with his mirror. But yeah, this is my new cruiser bike. I got it painted because it was a piece of crud paint job before and I already see like dirt that I got in it because it hasn't had wax on it but I got it painted this nice black forest green pearl color I did the fenders the gas tank and the gas tank had a big huge uh, dent in it and I did the I did the uh, what's it called the rear fender too I did all three of those plus a dam removal from Mako in Lakewood, New Jersey for $400. Dude, it came out real sick. It actually came out really good. For a Mako paint job, I'll take it any day. It's not 100%, but everywhere else wanted at least 600 bucks just to pop the dent. So, I'm, th I'm thinking it's well worth it. This bike is, like I said, 2004. VTX. It has an aftermarket uh, air intake. It's jetted on the carbs. It's got a brand spanking new uh, brand spanking new. I think they're Cobra exhaust, but I could be wrong. Uh, whatever they are, I know they're louder than any bike that I ride with now, which is exactly what I was hoping and dreaming for. Because the FC6 gets so quiet that like. People don't even understand where I'm at or that I'm even existing in life. So I, I like having a nice loud exhaust. <laughs> already got a cell phone mount. Already got the cell phone charger. Uh, mirrors work really good. High beam's kind of off, but I can always adjust that one day. I um, yeah, I'm really happy with this bike. I've had it for about two months and one of the months it was out of commission because uh mako had the had the tank and everything so they had the tank they did nothing for a week and then afterwards they painted everything but they left a dent in the tank and then they added one of their own dents on the top of the tank so we had to uh leave it there for another week and they popped both of the dents and painted it and it came out really good so i've been riding it for maybe a solid three weeks and I'm super happy with it I went out bought myself a half helmet so I could look like a cool cruiser kid I uh I, yeah I pretty much fit the mold of a cruiser guy now when I'm on this bike I got one of those German DOT half helmets looking cooler than a Yeah, I, I, you cannot beat the comfort of these bikes. They're just, they're so comfortable. I got it from my buddy John in Connecticut. Uh, he's been riding for a, a decent amount of time. And it, this was his first bike that he had. And he rocks mopeds and stuff like that. But 
he just it was too loud for him in his neighborhood he, he just had a kid and stuff so I was more than happy to take the ride down to Connecticut with my truck and um, pick up the bike it was hectic because it was the first time I hauled anything in the back of my truck other than scrap metal which is what I've been doing a lot of so it was weird having metal in the back of the truck that I actually cared about but it made it home safe, so I'm happy about that. <coughs> this bike hasn't seen much love in a while, so I took it home, hit it all with rubbing compound when the tank and stuff was off. I should have hit the fenders and everything with wax, but maybe I'll do that one day I get bored. And, it, dude, it looks amazing right now with this paint job, so I could not be happier with this bike. When I first got it, I was kind of iffy with the... Uh, with the way that the tank was and the dent, but I'm super happy now. It was all red, now it's now it's forest green, black. So we're headed right now to my buddy Gio's house. He has a Grom. He's part of the Grom squad that I used to be a part of. He um, lent me a helmet because my girlfriend wanted to ride on the back of the bike and her helmet right now is like a kid's large like dirt bike helmet or ski helmet without uh, uh, like a visor. She doesn't have goggles, no like sun guard or anything. So I was trying to get her a better helmet and Gio hit me up saying that he had a small helmet that I could have and I was like, oh sweet. And then of course I get it and it's extra small. So we tried it out, it didn't work. So we just got our bring it back to Gio because he lets his family use it or whatnot. But, yeah, this bike, I mean, I'm not fully used to it yet. I've already done like six Hope, like six New Hope trips with it. I've already gotten pretty used to the way that it handles. You know, I'm, I'm keeping up with the Groms on the twisties, which I'm really happy with because they're so nimble that you really should be flying in every single turn with them. Uh, it has like 15,000 miles, it's carbureted, 1300cc, loud, nice pipes, and this bike I plan on keeping for a while, but then again I plan on keeping every bike I own for a while until I don't own them anymore, so the word on the street is that I'm definitely going to be keeping this bike for a while, but who knows. The FZ6, I'm, I keep saying the same thing about that, but then again, who knows. As long as I'm out on a bike, I'm happy. It's finally September. It's nice and, you know, it's nice and cool outside. The weather is nice. It wasn't even a bad summer, to be honest. The summer was really, really nice. And now I'm going to enjoy the fall even more. It's chilly right now, probably like maybe 70 with a wind chill. But it's, it's just so comfortable. Oh, that dog's pissed. He didn't like that. So we're going to drop this helmet off the Geo, and then I think we're just going to hit a couple of back roads. Eric's going to see a movie in a little bit, so we don't really have too long to ride, but we'll just cruise around. Let's first try and catch this Weezer man. Alright, so me and Eric are going to try. Oh, the Weezer Man stopped! Nice. Come on, car, the Weezer Man stopped. Are you getting Weezers? Nah. How am I gonna eat it? We're gonna sit here and eat it. We got Mr. Weezer himself. What? Is that the same what? Yeah. It's just echoes. Can 
Can I get a rainbow large? Yo, that Italian ice was great. Peace, kid! So I had my Italian ice, and guess what? It was delicious. Me and Eric chased down the Italian icy guy, and he hooked us up. I got a regular rainbow, and it wasn't good. It did not have lemon. I don't know what Italian ice place makes rainbow without lemon, but I don't appreciate it, but I still ate it. So, yeah. I'm with Eric now. We're going to go meet up with his buddy at Chick-fil-A to say hi because they're going to the movies and for some reason we have to go see his friend before they go to the movies so they can like tell each other that they're going to the movies or something. I don't know. But that's the plan for now and then I think this video is probably going to come to an end. So I might just end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed my bike. I'll uh, before I bring it inside I'll do a quick walk around so you can check it out and see how sexy it is. Alright, see ya! <laughs> oh, bah! <laughs> Alright, guys, check it out. This is it. I don't know how well you can see it. I mean, should be not bad, but here she is. The 2004 Honda VTX visual, what it looks like. I got this cool, the intake. If you watch the intake, hopefully you can see it. I'll see. Yeah, the camera's close enough. Watch the butterflies. That's like, right there is the best thing about the bike. It didn't work when I first bought it, but now it works. Chrome everywhere. It's completely ridiculous, but looks cool when it's polished up. Looks nice. Scrapes on the exhaust for when I scrape on the ground because I'm just hanging low. Back of the bike, sissy bar. Had to put it on for the girl instantly. Different license plate mount. Shaft driven. You know, standard Honda VTX 1300. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of my sweet new bike. Shout out to all the pairs. Shout out to not painting your bike black because it's a cruiser and actually doing a cool color like black with green when the sun hits it and pearl. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, YOLO. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.